folks who travel, and our women who made a difference. A cooler kids gift to our community. The best app back in order. Carol Gunderson, portrayed by Parker. How does one superwoman end up like I am? How is my great mind turning out like this? My lack of memory and the communication skills that once made me, me. I'm starting to second guess myself. Have I achieved greatness in my life? Will my legacy impact our community 20 years from now? I have to relax, think, and sort these things out. It's all coming back. Women. Me. That's what I lived for. To see the women as real and important people. Because what good is a community with a strong half out of order? Sure, I could still be ladylike. I threw fancy parties. I was a good cook. I embroidered, made jam, canned things. But who's to say a woman can't do it all? Nothing could have stopped me from standing on the post office street corners, handing out flyers, getting women to vote. Nothing could have taken away the opportunity for me to represent our League of Women Voters at the United Nations. But it wasn't any of this that matters most to me. What was most important to me was the work that I did to help our own community. My work for education, volunteering for the Red Cross, the Girl Scouts, and other various programs. It seems to me that the work I did right here for our community was the work that was most important to everyone. What impact will have made in the future? The first thing I can think of is my help in the education of children in our community. Before me, the mayor chose her school board. He didn't care if the community liked it or not. Also, I helped it become possible for a school board to choose its own budget. Before, the budgets had to be approved by the city council. And what did they care about education? I think that what I did to better education is something I can always be proud of. Not that what I did was for publicity. But finally, when 1950 came around, I got the recognition I feel I deserved. It was this year that I received the Man of the Year Award from the Lacrosse Chamber of Congress, which made national headlines, because who would think a woman could get a man's award? As for myself, I was frozen. I couldn't think, and I could barely squeeze out words. What had happened was just so amazing, I feel that words can't describe it. Sure, as I said, it was remarkable to get the word. Sometimes, it's just better to hear a person's word about you than to get their word. I recall my 50th wedding anniversary when my husband made a toast, but only seemed to recognize himself. He was talking like it was a birthday party. But when he was finished, my daughter and my daughter-in-law piped up and made recognition of me. And just to hear a person's words about me made me pleased. All this thinking has made me realize that without my contributions to our society, our community would not be the place that it is now. Also, I hope I've made it apparent to women that they don't need outstanding leadership skills. You don't need outstanding verbal skills to make a difference. All you need is to believe in what you say and you can be a difference. In the end, I feel that I only had one motive. Nothing other than this could have made me done what I did. Nothing other than to help people become better citizens, and as a result, help us become a better community. This podcast brought to you from across Wisconsin by the Cooley Kids at Longfellow Middle School, in conjunction with the League of Women Voters.